Well, now I am your host, Lambo Drew, and you are now tuned in to another edition of The Leverage Show. Definitely, we are back. We are back. We are back. Your boy, Lambo Drew, definitely is back in the saddle doing my thing. Listen, I'm hopefully everybody had a great weekend. You guys were actually out there, man, enjoying your weekends, especially on this Thanksgiving week. Oh, I'm telling you what, man, it's about to go down, man. Shout out to everybody in this entire week, man, for Thanksgiving. Y'all already know, man, if you ain't got your greens, if you ain't got your turkeys, you ain't got your uh, mac and cheese, if you don't got the, uh, let's, let, you got to put some potato salad out there, man. Somebody got to have some potato salad out there working. Somebody got to have the stuffing, the dressing, the greens, the beans, and everything else in between, man. And if you guys got that, then you ready to rock and roll. For some of y'all out there, man, y'all are probably doing the traditional bird. Y'all y'all already prepping that. Make sure you already got it out and you are throwing that thing out to make this thing happen. Because I'm telling you this right now. You don't want to be going to no store, man, on Thanksgiving Day. Try to go on ahead and get all this last minute stuff. We're not even out here trying to be about that, man. We try to make sure y'all are definitely getting it in, man. Make sure you guys get all of your seasonings that you guys get. I'm telling you this right now. Get your seasonings. You guys get to the store, get your, get your smoke pan, your turkey necks. Uh, some of y'all love your fat back and everything else, man. Go get it. Make sure you go get it at the stores, man, today if you ain't got it, man. I'm telling you, man, we got to put this Thanksgiving list together because we already know, man, that it is about to go down for a lot of y'all, man. So definitely, man, thank y'all for definitely tapping in, man, on this Tuesday night show, man, here on The Leopard Show. Lambo is back in the building, man. Got back early this morning, so had an amazing time when we was in new orleans man oh we're gonna talk about all that good stuff man uh for my sister's wedding man back home was really amazing we had a great time and i'm telling you what they got a chance to party down there man oh my goodness it was a party going on in the crescent city in new orleans man so we're going to talk about that we're going to tackle all of that good stuff uh hopefully you guys have definitely got adjusted uh to this daylight savings time it's been almost two weeks now uh, so definitely it's been, you know, hitting a lot of people still, you know, with these clocks that they didn't went on ahead and they didn't reset. So uh, I know for a fact I've been up more than anything, you know, and trying to trying to sleep between the times when I can. Uh, but for the past two weeks, everybody kind of know that Lambo has been traveling uh, literally the past like two weeks straight, uh, nonstop in a row. Uh, but in, in between that time, trying to make sure that we go on ahead, man, and provide some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful content for you guys on Tuesday nights, Thursday nights, and also Fridays right here on The Leverage Show. So, yes, we definitely, man, uh, for those who know know that uh, we had a death in the family uh, the week before, so we actually had to go on ahead the week before uh, and be in Ohio uh, for a few days. It was had an amazing time. Thank you guys again for all your wonderful words, uh, your wonderful blessings, and everything else that you guys put forth. That was amazing. Uh, and we had a great time there, man, uh, just seeing family and friends. And literally, we had to go ahead. We got back that, that Monday. People don't know this, man. We got back that Monday. We were already packing for the rest of the trip to leave out to New Orleans and everything, man, shortly thereafter. And we had an amazing time, man, in New Orleans, man. You got a chance to see, man, all of your family members, all your friends. Uh, and you got a chance to see a lot of family members that you guys haven't got a chance to see in quite some time. So we had a good time. And needless to say, all of that, and people have known this for a fact, I had had this countdown. Me and my wife had this countdown for uh quite some time you know i'm talking about we had this kind of for months so we went on this journey right of making sure that we can get into the tuxedos and get into the dresses uh along that time we literally entertained so many guests from over the months and i'm i'm, I'm not lying to y'all man that we were doing our walking we were doing our exercising we were doing all of this wonderful great uh, intake of dieting, man. And I'm telling you what, me and my wife was rolling. And at the same time, we was taking care of everybody else that we were actually entertaining who was coming into the cities 
or we had to fly to their city. So needless to say, by the time Lambo finally got down to New Orleans, right, I had made a goal, right? And I told the guy, I said, hey, man, listen, don't worry about it. These pants right here, when you measured these pants a little time ago, Lambo was going to get down uh, in his weight within these pants. And needless to say, if some of y'all been watching my social media, you guys know that he's just he, he's out there having a good time entertaining too many people. And we were we were literally entertaining family members, friends, guests for months. I'm talking about back to back to back to back weeks. So when Lambo got down that van and my wife, uh, we in there picking up the uh, the tuxedo that day. I never forget it. She said, "Babe, you know you were supposed to have been down, which you said uh, a little bit more than what you had intended to be." I said that was the plan, right? But plans change, right? And then all of the wonderful people, man, that we've seen for months, months and months on end, we definitely had to entertain them. And I'm trying to watch everything that we're doing, birthday parties and all of that. But guess what? We got into that tuxedo. Now, they had to go ahead and switch my pants out, which was a good thing. You know, so thank God that they had a last minute, you know, uh, tailor in there to do that. But we got there. The uh, tuxedo was amazing, man. Shout out to my, my brother, Arthur, man, or, or the event planner, man, as well, for getting things done uh, for that wedding and making sure that they got it right. But I'm telling you what, man, you guys don't know this, man, but we had a chance to uh, do a couple things that we always wanted to do, man, while being into the city and always traveling back and forth. We got a chance to get to the city. Uh, and go to one of the restaurants that I always wanted to take my wife to, man, and been telling her for some time, man, and that was Commander's Palace. So we got a chance to go there, man, sneaking into the city to get there. One of the last reservations of the night, because we had a night flight, to get there uh, to be able to go and attend that. So Commander's Palace was definitely the bomb, man. I, I'm telling y'all, there have been people who lived there their whole life and have never been to the Commander's Palace, man. And that has been one of the places where the best chefs, Emma Lagasse, Paul Proudhon, uh, Jason, uh, and a few of the other chefs that you guys know, trained that and literally came from out of Commander's Palace and went around the world, man, and have literally been one of the top chefs. So I highly recommend going to Commander's Palace if you guys ever get a chance to go to New Orleans, man, my city, man. And I'm telling you this right now, I was so thankful. My wife can tell you this right now. When they talked about that bread and bringing that bread out, we we not real big bread eaters like that. We eat nice, we eat nice bread. If the bread is good, we'll eat it. And everybody's talking about all that bread. But brother, my sister, if y'all are out there and y'all are listening to the sound of my voice, that bread was insane. That butter bread, it melted your mouth. I ain't never seen no type of stuff like that, man. With the little sauce that they got coming with it, they need to go ahead, send that back in the back and keep that away from people who are trying to watch their weight because you will constantly keep having them bringing that particular bread out that's baked with some butter and Parmesan. I don't know what is on that thing, man, but that thing right there will get somebody in trouble. I'm telling you what I know, man. Uh, and not just that, man, the wonderful soups that they had there that was on the menu, the wonderful entrees that was on the menu. I'm telling you what, man, it was definitely, definitely, definitely an experience. But definitely the desserts, hands down, man. You got to definitely go ahead and experience that. Get that experience underneath your belt if you are definitely traveling to New Orleans, man. And, of course, we got a chance. I told everybody in the entire world. The best Philly cheese steaks are in New Orleans. I lie not to you. The best Philly cheese steaks are in New Orleans. And I told that for people, man, for years. The best Philly cheese steaks are in New Orleans. And shout out and everything, man. They had one not too far, right in my hometown in Marrero, man. Uh, the Philly cheese steak spot right there. Uh, hands down, man. I went on here and got a chance to get it in with my family and enjoy that time now my son doesn't even eat cheese steaks right he don't he don't eat a cheese steak to save his life he's a straight up hamburger type of guy not just that he's probably a more hamburger and chicken tender type of guy just to be exact but when he got down to new orleans champ decided to go ahead 
and get himself another cheesesteak because I gave him one cheesesteak. And it's not like the regular cheesesteaks where people are, they see the, the, the steak and they all shredding the steak. No, nah, this is this is a different cheesesteak. This one right here will put you down. And they got different versions of it. So we got a chance to get out there and get some cheesesteaks. But not just that. All my daughters got a chance to experience it this time as well. And my wife, of course, you know, she truly, truly, truly loves and everything, man. Her cheesesteaks, man, right there on that. I'm trying to tell you this right now. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And I'm telling all of y'all right now that them cheesesteaks is definitely the best cheesesteaks in New Orleans at the Philly Cheesesteak. Y'all, you got to do is look up Philly Cheesesteak. Uh, and there's two, I know the big ones is usually be in the mall. They do surf and turfs and everything where you can get your shrimp mixed with your steak. And the steak is like really nice mint steak. Oh, my God. Stop playing, man. Uh oh, y'all about to get Lambo in trouble. So you got to go definitely for that. We got a chance to do a lot of orders. Morals. I'm, I'm big on that. Morals, uh, M O R R O W S. Morals was definitely good. Uh, Mondays, if you guys got a chance to go ahead and tap into Mondays, Mondays as well was really, really good. Their food was good. Catfish, everything else was good for Mondays. Uh, what else, man? I mean, we had so much stuff, man. Um, of course, Melba's, you know, Melba's is always. Melba's is always my favorite, man. You, they know I'm going to go there, man. Every chance I get a chance to tap into the city, I'm going to Melba's to make sure that we enjoy some Melba's out there, man. So Melba's is a 24-hour spot. You guys can go and get some, something to eat. Really good food, man, if you guys are ever down in New Orleans and stuff like that. And I'm telling you this right now, man, you guys won't be uh, uh, let down at all, man, for Melba's. Now, uh, what else did we get a chance to do? That now they fell off, y'all. So I, I put them on my story, but they fell off, right? And that was Jack Dempsey's. Jack Dempsey's back in the day, when my mama and my daddy and everybody used to take us when we was coming up. Jack Dempsey's was the place. But I think they then you know must have fired the chef or he must have moved away, man, when Katrina happened, man, because Jack Dempsey's was good with the Fried fish, but some of the other sides have definitely fell off. So I would tell everybody, man, about that. But unfortunately, Jack Dempsey's, that's up to y'all if y'all truly decide. Now, Neo's, hands down, man. If you guys have never been to Neo's, I remember the old building of Neo's, man, uh, on Bienville, which was a really amazing. We got a chance to really sit down in that restaurant on our last day there. Uh, and we had a great time and stuff like that. And the server, he's well, well known. He's all on TikTok and everything else, man. And I'm telling you this right now. If you get a chance to go to Neo's, man, definitely go to Neo's. Go check the food out. Food is amazing, man. I'm telling you, that chicken, man, they got some of the best fried chicken, man, that you want to you want to know. And another spot we went to, we got a chance to go to Gus's Fried Chicken, right? Gus's Fried Chicken is pretty good. If you're ever in New Orleans, you want to go to Willie Mays, but Willie Mays was shut down because of a fire. So, again, we couldn't go ahead and get that. There is a location out in L.A. Uh, for Willie Mays uh, chicken as well. But when you get out there to California, you got to go, besides Willie Mays, you got to go to DB's Chicken Cash Shack. I can't go ahead and say Willie Mays and not go ahead and put out DB's Chicken Cash Shack people who are friends right here to the leverage show so if you guys get a chance right make sure you google up Dee Dee's chick and cat shack in la while you're out there in california and also google up willie mays and i'm telling you this right now y'all won't be definitely disappointed i promise you you won't be disappointed those two right there are two home runs that y'all know from your boy lambo drew that are definitely big for you guys to go ahead and take home. So make sure you guys put that in your lineup if you guys are traveling out there on that West Coast, man, for some wonderful, wonderful food. So we definitely always going to make sure that we're excited about that, man. But to get on to the main event, that day of the wedding was uh, simply breathtaking. The day of the wedding was breathtaking. I'm telling y'all this right now. 
this this angel, this angel, that's my sister, y'all, who got married, man. I mean, she she just did the thing down between her and Arthur and the event planner and the entire staff. Amazing, amazing, amazing. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful event. I'm talking about from the time, man, that we got there and we had to go. I was part of the groomsmen and had to get out there, man, and get into uh, full action and get the tuxedo. And, man, we had all the, the wonderful little things at the Airbnb that they had. Beautiful home that was – that was. they just went on ahead and rented out for the groomsmen. But also they did one for the bridesmaids as well. Beautiful home. Now – when I looked at the reels, Lambo getting ready to say a little something right now. I looked at them reels and I panned across what we had for the food and the groomsmen. I said, oh man, yeah, we doing our thing. But boy, when I looked over at what my wife and them had and my mama and them had and my sisters and them had and everything else they had in they, they spot, I said, hey, uh, I don't know what just happened over there, but they got the creme de la creme over there. They had lobsters. They had, I mean, they had some lobsters with, with the, the seasoned butter just hanging for the thing. I said, whoa, whoa, hold on. We didn't have that. We had chicken wings, waffles. It was great food and, uh, with the with the, the the grits, with the uh, shrimp and all of that great stuff. But they had the stuff and the, and the shrimp was hanging from the, the, little, uh, the little racks. And I'm sitting there looking like this is some gourmet type stuff that they had to set up in there. This is no, you know, you go pay Pookie or you go you go pay uh, uh, Shaniqua, you know, no, no offense to anybody out there with the name Shaniqua, you go pay her a little download hookup to see if they can hook it up and then put some stuff together. No, this was some really creme de la creme type uh, uh, atmosphere that they had going on over there in that bridesmaid house. And I'm sitting in there. I was looking through the video. I'm like, that that's not the same thing that I was expecting. I was expecting that they had what we had in our stuff. But nah, man, these bridesmaids, these ladies were set up. They was ready to go. I know that stuff should be definitely on some big reels, man, all over and stuff like that, man. So, you know, just excited, man, just to kind of really see how everything has been going, you know, and and just just to kind of see how things have been like transpiring, man, throughout the journey before you got to the main event. And I, I had to sit back there and say, I said, hey, y'all out there, you know, they had the face appointments for the ladies to get their face beat. Now, I'm still trying to get used to that word because when I was coming up, when a lady said that somebody said they got their face beat, that means they literally probably got their face tabbed a couple times, man, between points. You understand? Somebody was beating them, you know, in the wrong direction. But their faces these days, meaning beat, is meaning that they get makeup put up on them. Uh, and definitely, man, they had an amazing time. You know, my wife already has natural beauty with her. But, man, my wife came out there, coming out there, man. I seen her. I said, man, she must be one another kid. Yeah, <laughs> even we in the Four No More Club. So we was thankful. I'm telling you, ladies were on point. Men, we were on point. We were doing our thing. We were sharp. We was ready to step, ready to go, ready to do our thing. I'm telling you what, we had an amazing time. Then all of a sudden, it came time for us to drive to the event. Uh, they had buses that shuttled us, limousine buses, man, shout out for them arranging that and when you get to the event i'm telling you what it was at the jets brewery in new orleans that overlooks the riverfront right there i'm telling you it couldn't have been a better place even an outdoor wedding to be outside at night on the fourth floor that was just truly amazing man so truly we had an amazing time boy i'm telling you what when we got up there and we got out there and we out there and we we walking down the aisles and everybody's man doing their thing and the thing is all coordinated. The most memorable thing that could have happened while we were up there on top of that roof. 
before my sister walked down the aisle and they had them, everybody that took their places and we were all staged and they're getting ready to play the bride's music. 50 Cent's Mini Men song came on there and they are playing it down in the French quarters real loud. And I said, now this is epic. 50 Cent Mini Men before Angel walks down his aisle. This is good. I tell you what, we were all laughing at that point, having a great time, because I say, man, you can't go on ahead and script this up any better when the music just died off, and then boom, before her music can come out, that music is blasting and is playing, and we got many men and everything, man, get ready. So everybody's turning, we're all looking down over the French quarters, many men is going, I say, oh boy, this is definitely one for the books right here, man. And then next week, you know, man, they leave. And then my sister uh, is preluded with her wonderful uh, wedding theme song coming down that aisle. And she looked amazing. She looked gorgeous. Her wedding dress was amazing. And I'm telling you what, man, standing over there as a big brother and looking back at my sister and then looking back at her future husband right in front of me was just amazing. Not just that, man. My father officiating the wedding was just an amazing time, man. My mother sitting on the front row. We had nothing but cousins and family sitting on their rows as well, man. And we just, we're seeing all of the family members, man, all mingled up watching this special event and watching the nuptials, man, of two wonderful individuals go ahead and do it before the sight of God. It was amazing, man. I'm telling you what, man, we had an amazing time, man. And them to say I do at that altar and my father performed a ceremony couldn't have been any much more better, even on a wonderful, magical night that it was. The father knows what he's doing. And anytime, man, he brings some amazing people together and align them in this world together so that they can go do good for people. That's what this life is about. And I'm telling you what, man, that that ceremony of just the outside ceremony before we transitioned to go inside was just truly, truly, truly a very monumental moment for us all. And that's what we want. You want to be able to align yourself, man, with somebody, somebody and everything, man, not you just don't want to be aligned with because you don't want to be lonely. You don't want to go on ahead, man, and say you don't want to do life alone, but you want to be with somebody that you know you're destined and aligned to be with. God has, Almighty himself has put you together so that you can go ahead and spend the rest of your life with that person so you can make the best moments and memories you can possibly make. We definitely had that experience, man. So shout out and everything, man, to just an amazing wedding. I'm telling you what, when we got on the inside, they cut up on the inside. I'm telling you what, that's when we got a chance, when we finally made it back to the inside of the wedding to see all of the wonderful people and family and cousins. We get a chance to start hanging and hugging some necks and, 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 and giving kisses and everything else that we could possibly do and taking so many pictures. Yes, Lambo spent about 90, 90 to 95% of his night taking pictures. I was so thankful, man, for that. You guys don't even know it, man. I'm telling you this what right now. We got a chance. I got a chance. I hadn't seen cousins, man, and hugged their necks, man, in over 20 years, man. Only since, you know, before I turned around and left. And that's been 21 years ago, man, from New Orleans, man. And I've lived in several different cities and retired, man, for my job, even from that point. So you look at all of the years that we have really have been into one room like that and really have seen each other and took pictures together and talked with each other has been amazing. My kids, my wife and kids were meeting people, man, we only knew through the art of Facebook and Instagram and everything else, man. A shout out and everything, man, to to one that me and my wife, we've been talking about, man, this whole time. And my cousin, Errol, man. You guys know Errol, man. He's on the show all the time. He listens in all the time, man. And my cousin, man, I mean, just greeted me, man, with so much love, man. Me and my wife, man, and just was around there for me, my wife, and my kids, man. And he was there taping. You know, he knew. He said, cuz, I know you're going to be busy. Don't worry about it. I'm going to hold it down on this side. And he definitely did. He was capturing 
all the moments that I personally couldn't capture on the phone and he's recording everything and he was right there. Those are precious moments and memories, man, that we truly thank God for. We thank God for everybody who snapped pictures who was, we had so many pictures. I, I didn't know how many pictures I was snapped in and, and places I was going while I was there. And, and I'm sitting in there looking like, man, who was snapping his pictures and who was doing it? It, it was an amazing time. Y'all was like our own paparazzi there. Shout out to you. You get the Lambo bell. Thank you. Thank you for being the paparazzi, man, there for us and showing love and capturing moments, man, because, again, a lot of people know, man, when you get to weddings and you haven't seen a lot of family members and friends like that in years, you will spend, I'm telling you, a majority of the time talking than you possibly can, man, and really, uh, you know, pouring into their lives, man, than which you can actually get to see. And that was probably one of the most amazing times, man, that we had. Um, we got a chance to see, man, some of my older cousins, man, who I ain't got a chance to see in years. I got a chance to see my pastor's wife. Shout out to, man, Miss Sue Cross being in there, man. You know, my cousin Meredith and Angie Ned and, and uh, my cousin Deanna, man. I mean, we had so many people there, at there, at the place, man. Uh, uh, Larry Henry and Sister Pat Henry and, and uh, the Henry's being there. My cousin Toby definitely got a chance to run into my cousin Tyra as well, man, and show some love, man, and spend some time, man, with her as well as her kids. Uh, Lazy Nate, Marissa, man, I'm I'm dropping all kind of names, man, but y'all know who y'all were, man, who was out there, man, and showing up Clementa and Crystal, I mean, Clementa and Demetrius, uh, uh, that we got to make sure, my Uncle Bojo and Sister Carlette. If y'all don't even know, we got a chance to corner them all, but they cornered us all. We got a chance, man, to do some talking, man, with them. That was an amazing time. All in all, man, we had an amazing time, man. And then they bought the brass brand out, and the brass brand is playing, and they marching my sisters down the stairs. Before that, they had uh, PNC, which is a New Orleans local group. That was down there. They out there turning it up on the dance floor, and they shaking it for what they can shake it for. And my mom, man, you know, Myra J, we're going to talk about her real quick. You know, she cut up on that dance floor. She had a great time, y'all. Let me show. She had a great time. But I'm telling you what, between her and my sister, Ebby, it, it just, it just could have ended and everything, man, that night really fast. They probably could have all used a nap after that. I think that they were in tune with the spirit of that wedding to the most, to the highest impact. They had a guy there. He had full mirrors on him all the way around. You know, one of those street vendors where you'll see the street vendor moving in there. They pause and they got all of their face up. Well, this guy was dancing, looked like Michael Jackson in Smooth Criminal and got the whole thing going and it's reflecting all off of him and they had a violinist there and all of this stuff. I, I'm telling you what, this wedding was was really top notch in a real nice place, and they really went all out, man, to do it. And I'm telling you, nobody was in there. You had to wear uh, definitely be dressed up. Couldn't be dressed down. Couldn't have no jeans, no shirt, no just regular t-shirt, no nothing. You had to be dressed going in there, and we had a great time, man. Y'all just don't know that, man. That right there, man, hands down, one of the best, one of the most memorable weddings, man, that you can definitely have. But to see everybody there at one time, enjoying life, having fun, enjoying and embracing the moment. My sister, looking her most beautifulest queen that she could be out there was just an amazing time, an amazing moment. Seeing my parents being there, seeing my, my siblings, man, my brothers and sisters being there. You may everybody know I watched right next to Jeremy. Me and Jeremy look like twins, so they've been calling us twins for years. So we've had amazing times. My brother, Lil Henry, being there. I mean, that just right there in a nutshell, if anybody knows, Lil Henry being there, you already know, it, it's getting ready to be a great time with that brother, man. But to see everybody there, hugging that, talking to people, taking pictures, 
going down memory lane with a lot of your cousins, your family, your relatives, and then meeting different people that you never met because now you got brand new in-laws that you're meeting for the first time. And they're literally bringing that particular groups together and families together. It was an amazing time, man. My cousin Westby, shout out to Westby, was in the building and we got a chance to do a lot of talking. And these moments, these memories, these things that we share, these things that most people take for granted out here, we got a chance to participate in all of that. For that, I am forever thankful to enjoy a wonderful, 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 beautiful union in a wedding like that, man. And I'm telling you this right now, man. When that wedding was over with, we got home. When we got back to our place, the Airbnb, and we was talking about it the whole time, amazing time in the car. But boy, we were so beaten. Me and my wife, I think, still beat. From this day, you understand, I got in today, I had supposed to have so much work to do today, and I tried to uh, reach out to the few people that I could, but Lambo, I never have been like this in a long time, was so beat, my wife can tell you, he's like, my husband, he tried to handle as much work as he possibly can, but I was literally, I was just like, yo, I just got to rest, I just got to rest. That's not like me. I'm like the Energizer Bunny. I just pop back up. Boy, New Orleans did a number on us, man. I mean, we we was rocking and rolling, man, from the time that we could rock and roll in there, man. And it was a great feeling, man. My kids, just them being involved and, and seeing family and friends. And uh, I think that was my kids' first real wedding that they've ever been to. First real wedding they've ever been to. Just before, the week before, they experienced their second funeral that they ever been to, but funeral at this age where they could remember. So you go from a funeral the weekend before to uh, the, from the passing of Uncle Bo, and we had some amazing friends out there. Shout out to TMP man for them just showing us an amazing time, and all of the family members, mother in law, and just everybody man in that Ohio area man, and that Columbus area just was just amazing man. Shout out to y'all for that. And just the family being able to Williams family, what they did was just truly amazing. For wonderful, wonderful home going there for Uncle Bo, man. We truly and everything, man, can tell y'all, we were traveling over two weeks straight, straight. That's not from stopping from entertaining for about a couple of months straight every single weekend. So you guys don't understand. For me and my wife, there was no breaks in between this, and I'll be traveling next weekend. Shout out to you guys. We're coming to D.C. for the Core 4 Summit event in D.C. Again, the tickets are still available December 1st, December 2nd. All roads lead to D.C. Core4Summit.com. You guys can go get your ticket. C-O-R-E, the number four, Summit, S-U-M-M-I-T. Dot com, you guys can go get your tickets uh, and go definitely pull up. Lambo will be there. Lambo Drew will be there December 1st, December 2nd in D.C. Go to the website, go purchase tickets, man. Some of you guys have been last minute. Yes, there is a few tickets available. You guys can be there. I will be speaking personally at that event along with a lot of other great leaders, man. Shout out to Brandon Adams. We're putting that on my guy BOJ, my guy Terrence Pounds, my guy Coach Rasheed, my guy uh, Jackson Armstrong, man, is going to be there. CPMD is going to be there. Sass is going to be there. Kojo is going to be there. Uh, James Bishop is going to be there. Uh, oh, my God, St uh, Stan is going to be there. We have so many great leaders who are going to be there. You guys do not want to miss it. And then we got plenty of others that I did not even name that it's a lot of information we're going to be covering for those two days. Really, it's going to be the second, December the second is the actual event. Uh, so you guys definitely want to come out. Make sure you guys purchase your tickets. There are a few left. Core4Summit.com. You guys can go on there and grab some tickets uh, and definitely uh, enjoy what we actually have coming. Now, again, that will be an event that we will be doing semi-annually. So there will be another event in about another six months from there. So if you do miss this event, 
make sure you're gearing up for the summer event that we're going to be having, which Lambo should be back there at that event as well to come and speak to you guys and drop some amazing knowledge and grazing wisdom to you. So you guys can definitely take advantage of that and start excelling in life. So again, this is definitely been an amazing experience we've had the last couple of weeks. And now we are gearing up to continue to keep going forward because guess what? Uh, even after this, after next week, we got that wonderful event. We may have a break for a couple of weeks and then we'll be back at the end of the month in December of next month for another wonderful wedding for my guy, Joseph Ford, your guy who's right here on the show, Mr. Joseph Ford and everything, man. His wedding will be at the end of next month of December. So we're really excited, man, for gearing up for that event as well and going out to uh, California, IA, uh, in uh, San Francisco, if I'm not mistaken, will be there as well. And that will be uh, going into the New Year's wedding. So, hey, I'm telling you, Lambo is on a move. You guys have not seen it just yet, but we are gearing up for 2024. But we got more events lined up. I'm going to make sure that we're keeping you guys posted on all the events that we're doing, all the events that is lined up, all the events you guys can come out and see me. You guys can come out and meet me personally. I can come shake your hand. I can come take some pictures. We can come go on ahead, man, and uh, talk about some great things, man, uh, with time being limited that we want to talk about, man. So definitely come out. I'd love to come see you. I'd love to meet you. I would love to make sure that you let me know your stories of how I impacted your life, how this broadcast has impacted your life, how the Leverage Show family, you've been blessed by this Leverage Show family and what it is actually doing for you, man. That's what the show is about. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to make sure that we continuously to keep giving you your flowers. You know, I got a chance to really do something uh, when I was down there in New Orleans, man, that I always wanted to do. Right. I ain't got to talk about it, but Lambo's going to talk about it. I got a chance, man, to uh, spend just a few hours with the gentleman who taught me how to actually cut hair. Shout out to my guy, Mo, man. You already know. And as we get the chance, we're talking around the entire barbershop. Everybody's coming in and going out, man. And I haven't seen people in years. And we're talking nonstop. And I got my son right there next to me. I'm like, dude, I literally, man, came up in this shop, in this barbershop right here. With this young man, man, you know, teaching me, you know, how to cut hair, but then talking about life and life principles, and just the way that life does things, man. And for me to sit back up in here, man, and be in a position where I'm at now in my life, man, to be able to to be a blessing to somebody, man, in the very presence of them. It literally, man, afforded me this opportunity to to have this overwhelmness really hit my life. But then also to hear from my cousin yesterday who talked about it and they had a conversation away from closed doors. That blessed me, man, more than anything. Because you know what that does to me? It lets me know and everything, man, that people not only and everything, man, are they excited for where you're going, but they're excited for how you're blessing their life. And you, you have the ability to bless people's lives. That's what we're here for. We're here for in this world, man. If somebody has done some amazing things for you and they have blessed you in ways, man, and you really want to go ahead and thank them, please do not shut up your vows of compassion. Bless some people. That's what this life is about. Go bless some people. Go bless some people. This is what this life is about, man. You guys are going to understand in your journey, right? And there, there will be times, man, that people do know this and will know this, right? That uh, I remember, man, the gentleman Mo, man, when uh, we would be, I would just go sit down there, sit down there for hours, days in, and just watch how he's cutting hair. And then I, I learned to cut hair and wind up going to barber school and then wind up jumping to a barber chair. And I ran, did my own thing with the shop and, and cut it. A, a lot of people's hair, man, for years in New Orleans, man. And I look at, how many times that people were always blessing people and always looking out for people and always doing for people. And I watched how many times that he blessed people throughout the years, right? I remember how many times he blessed me when Lambo back, back then, I would say, hey man, I, I ain't got too much money to pay you or nothing like that, but he was younger. 
It is like, man, go on ahead, man, and sweep my shop. If you sweep my shop, Lambo, I go ahead and I, I cut your hair for free. You know, if you do this, you do that, cut your hair for free. Hey, man, if you, I got a couple plates and stuff like that that I ordered. You want a plate, Lambo, and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, man, I'll take a plate. And you never forget people and what they have done for you and what they are doing for people still, still helping people out, man. And when you get the opportunity to really, 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 if you can, to ever really bless somebody, bless them. Bless their socks off to where they, they, they know it's an intentional blessing. I don't care what or who it is. It could be your own kids, it could be your own family member, it could be some friends, some things that some good people just did along the way. When you get the opportunity, go bless their socks off. Go make it so rememberable that that moment in their life will be always aged. And they're always going to smile and look back to that moment because your life is a life where you should have experienced a life of giving. That's what this leverage show is about. The leverage show is about continuously to keep giving and continuously to keep sowing, continuously to keep moving forward and helping people out along the way. Now, Truth, truth be told, let me say this, even on the day that I had off today, that I told you I had off, I was closing business deals even in spite of that. I was closing business. So it wasn't like Lambo's day. My day off may be totally different from your day off. You may turn around on your day off and just completely do nothing. My day off still has work related, revolved to it and things that need to be done, uh, contracts need to be negotiated, things that need to be taken care of, and there is financial pieces that are in place, not to help just Lambo's life, but to help so many countless of other people's lives who are I'm connected to. And that's what I am here for, to making sure that you guys have that ability. And I told my wife this, I said, man, it's not too often that I get a chance to get so many times where we can talk to so many people you know, and, and we can get out here and travel. But at the end of the day, Lambo and what he does well is make sure that I bring deals and merge deals together and go help people to help expand their wealth and help expand their fortune and help expand their vision of what they're doing so that everybody's at the end of the table for making some sort of effort and making money so that you can continuously to keep moving forward. Even in while I was actually traveling, I even hosted a few Zoom calls, very impactful Zoom calls. For some of y'all, these Zoom calls are high eight, nine figure Zoom calls that I actually hosted while I was actually traveling, right? Now, not everybody knows this. My wife can tell you this. I try not to work at all when I'm actually gone. I try not to go in ahead and do any business or try to conduct business while I'm gone. But there are certain circumstances where Lambo has to try to conduct so certain business that, hey, this has to be done. OK, cool. Give me a couple minutes. Let me do this. Let me go ahead and do this. But that has afforded the ability for me to bless my family, to bless what my my people do. And my family and my wife, my kids and people that we're connected to and people that we want to impact and empower. We're afforded the ability to go on ahead and be a blessing to them. So even if you see Lambo and you'll see me, and I have did this with people, and certain people know that I've did this, where we were able to still conduct business moving forward to help them and their family and their goals out and their visions out, some things that they want to do out as well. And that's is what makes you great. It's not only in everything, man, it's how you perfect your craft when you're actually in your craft, how you perfect your craft on your downtime? Do you still have enough to continue to keep making moves so that other people can eat up off of your flow and what God has afforded you the ability to do? Now we have some amazing things that's gonna come out. You guys are gonna see, we're gonna talk about it even on the broadcast and all of that. You guys will be able to go ahead and make passive income, passive cash flow. That's what Lambo is into. People wanna know like what he's into, Lambo's into everything. He, he definitely knows a little bit of everything, but when it comes to passive income, passive flow, and being able to make some moves happen, that's what we're into. We're into making sure that you have the sustainability and the affordability to provide for you, your vision, your families, and people around you. 
That's what Deliver Show is about. Okay. So I really, really, really want to thank you for that. Now, I got to get into the comments and then we're going to get into this message. I promise you and everything, man, I got to definitely. I know these messages have been racking up and Lambo definitely wants to give a full shout out to everybody, man, because I haven't had a chance to give a shout out to you guys in like a couple of days, man. All right. Money is in the building, man. Shout out to your money, man. Thank you for hitting that. Top spot, I see you in the building. Champ is in the building. Hello, everyone. Shout out to your champ. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being in the building. Cynthia Davis is in the building. Good evening, Lambo and Mr. Johnson. Hello, family. Hopefully, I will be seeing you next week at the event in D.C., Miss Cynthia Davis. All right, now, definitely thank you for tapping in. Cutie Potato for Life is in the building. Hopefully, I get a chance to see you next week, too, Cutie Potato for the Life. Hi, family. Good to see you in the building, man. Fro, you got this. Shout out to you, Fro. Thank you for joining in. Mom Dukes is in the building. Shout out to you. She gets that bell, man. Definitely, Mom Dukes already know. Good to see her on the program tapped in while she is actually uh, kind of having a little R&R &R time, man, between her and my pops and some other people themselves while my sister is actually away doing her thing, too, as well. So really excited about that, man. Keep doing what you do. Thanks for all the hospitality, Mom Dukes. You already know. Much love your way. Continue to keep doing. Don't come back with no other extra uh, luggage in your hand. You already know what I'm talking about. Cutie Potato for Life, say sorry for your loss. Thank you, Cutie Potato for Life. Truly, really appreciate that. That definitely is a blessing, man. Thank you, man. Uh, my wife is in the building. Shout out to my bride, man. Me, me rocking with her, man. She already know what time it is, man. Uh, in these last couple of weeks, I've been a roller coaster. For, for everybody who do knows, man, a mix of emotions, of a bunch of joyous ones, but also of ones and everything, man, of sadness, of missing uh, memories and everything else. So you already know, man, what time it is, man. But we have been excited and definitely moving forward and excited and everything, man, for what's to come. Shout out to a man, me having an awesome, strong wife. And not just that, or her getting a chance to hear about her courage and her being so strong in what she does, even when meeting with family members, who actually tune into the show and definitely blessed and everything, man, in my life. So definitely thank you, baby, for accompanying me and uh, being able to accompany you, man, within the last few weeks uh, of us traveling back and forward like we're doing. We got way, got another one next week that we will be together. My wife will be with me in D.C. So you guys will meet Mrs. Lambo, man, as well in D.C., man, next weekend. So make sure you guys are definitely tapping in for the Core 4 Summit dot com event because we definitely coming all right my guy pass link up croc is in the building what's up croc another wedding coming soon shout out to you j ford's wedding will be definitely soon definitely so i just talked about that wow man at the uh just a couple minutes back that we will be uh in uh san francisco at the end of next month in december for my guy j ford's wedding so really excited about that croc was actually looking at the stories as well and saying these are all my spots. Shout out to Croc for definitely going on here, man, and talk about all his spots in New Orleans that he liked. I got a gang of them that I can send to you, Croc. A gang of them. Born and raised there, I can tell you. And even some of the new ones that I got, I got a gang of them that are there that will blow your mind. So, uh, yeah, I go ahead and I'll make sure I send that to you, man. And everybody kind of know, man, um, that in New Orleans, man, the service is really kind of, kind of goes uh, haywire. So there's a lot of times, man, that you would say, uh, what people say, oh, man, you're you're online, you're online. And it's like, no, 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 it's not even loaded up. It'll show that it's loaded up and the connection is not even being connected. Hey, I've experienced that. I know how that is. So uh, we've got, we had some real good responses. We was able to respond back to a lot of people today. So shout out and everything, man, for that, uh, of us getting back. So we can definitely go ahead and respond. PC is in the building. Shout out to your PC. Thank you, thank you, and T-Man uh, for just all your love. When we was in Columbus, man, you guys just don't know, man, how much you guys mean to us. But uh, truly a blessing, man, more than anything, man. So shout out to your PC, man. Thank you. Didi's Chicken Cash Shack. Hey, my people. Blessings, Lambo, Drew, and Renata, and the Levin Show family, man. Shout out to you, man. Dave and Chris has been out there killing it. Oh, my God, man. I told y'all. I just mentioned y'all earlier, man. Uh, if you guys are ever out in the West Coast and you out there in California, Pasadena, L.A., uh, San Diego, all those areas, man, you guys got to definitely look up the Black Mobile, DD's Chicken Cash Go follow them on Instagram, man. 
trying to tell you, man, a lot of amazing stuff, man, that they are doing, man, out there in that area. And I'm telling you, they're really helping change lives, man. You already know. QP's in the building. Shout out to you, QP. Hello, good people of the Leverage Show, man. Good to see you. I know you tapped in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, QP, man, for tapping in, man. You already know what time it is, brother. We are here, man, getting back to it, man, getting back to the grind. PC says, hey, Lamine, you know what this is. Hey, money showing love, man. Dee's and Pete, my wife showing love to both of them. You already know what time it is. PC showing love, man, to Cutie Potato for Life. Let's go. Hey, my auntie is in the building. Hey, nephew, shout out to your auntie. I see you in the building, man. Get the horn. Thank you for stopping in, man, and showing love, man. My, my favorite auntie, she already know, man. Always showing love to her because she keeps going on here and staying fly as usual. You already know. I'm looking at the picture right now. She fly right now, man, in there, man. Thank you, auntie, for showing love, man, out here, man. You already know. I, uh, nephew, appreciate that. For real. PC showing love the road. That's what I'm talking about. Showing love to DD, showing love to Fro, man. PC's in the building. Hey, passive income, man. Money showing love back to PC. There we go. Champ is in the building, man. DD showing love. You already know, man, what time it is, man. In there, man. Money saying hello, DD's chicken cash act, man. Right back at PC with the love, man, and the heart, man. Money showing love, man, to passive, man. Cutie potato, cool shirt, Lambo. Thank you, cutie. Uh, got this king shirt, man. You already know, man. We got to definitely do it, man. Shout out to her. That's my wife, man. That always keeps me looking fly in and out, man. In season and out season. I got to make sure that we keep that thing moving, man. Showing love to money, as you see, man. I love that. That's right. Go to Didi's. My wife can definitely vouch for Didi's Chicken Cash Act. I'm telling you this right now, man. Y'all will not have an awful experience there. Truly amazing, truly top notch. Service is amazing. I'm telling you this right now. You will definitely love it. So make sure you guys definitely are tapped into that. DD showing love. Much love, Lambo Drew. Hey, man. Much love to you guys, man. You guys are the one who is really out there. Get down to it, putting your name and your brand on the line. And that's what we are here to be about making sure you guys put your name and the brand on the line so you guys can get the results that you guys want to get. So shout out to you guys doing what you guys do, man. Hey, Renata, they showing love to my wifey, man, in the building. I love that. My baby said the wedding was so beautiful. She looked so amazing. So thankful for her, man. Definitely shout out to my sister, Angel, man, for doing her thing, man. We definitely, man, was excited about that. We had talked about that wedding, but now that the wedding's over, can I honestly tell y'all this? Y'all know how it's leading up, you're leading up, you're leading up. It's building up with so so much it's suspense. Now when it's over where you can finally relax and go, oh, all right, we made it through there. We definitely made it through there, but man, definitely had an amazing time. Definitely probably wedding of the year, man. You guys got to know that, man. Truly an amazing time, man. And she did our thing, man, hooking everybody up, for real, for real. Cutie Potato for Life says, not many men. Yes, many men. Many men by 50 cents was out there in there blasted, man, before she got the chance to walk down that aisle, man. Most memorable moment, man, of that night, man, and that's going to be talking about. I'm like, man, 50, you don't even know, man. You was in the wedding that wasn't even in the wedding, man. So shout out to you for that. My cars is in the building. Hey, I don't... This guy right here, man, gets it all right here. I didn't even know what you're going to be on tonight, man, because you did your thing. Shout out to you, man, for me seeing you, man. I talked about you earlier, man. You probably have to go back and watch it. I don't even know if you were watching then or not. But, brother, I really want to thank you, cuz, man. I really want to thank you, man, just for just you being out there, you being you, brother, and just embracing us, man, and just seeing you and kind of running through some. I told you, you, Clem and Mickey, man, running around there and seeing y'all, man, and then, and then looking at the tapes, man, of your of your child, your son, he out there, and also Clem's son out there, man. That was truly an amazing time. But, man, just just appreciate you, man. Just saying, man, you know what, because I tap in, man, you know, and, and just talking about the journey, which we talk about here, and so transparent here, man. And, uh, man, I'm so thankful that it blessed your life. See, when it blessed family life and and friends but it blessed family's life man that hits so different to me because i really want to thank you for that man because telling you what not just that man even after you say man cuz go do your thing I, I know you you're busy here man i'm gonna be right here with the family 
and you capture some amazing moments, man, for my wife, my kids, and, and just, just the family around. I love you for that, man, because truly appreciate you for that. You don't even know how much that meant to me, especially I'm telling you this right now. You don't know how much that meant to me. I fully salute and thank you. The Leverage Show family fully salutes and thank you, brother, because you captured some moments, brother, that we couldn't get because of just of the moment, both me and my wife both being in the wedding, as well as uh, other family members, man, who were in a wedding. And you were right there, man. I mean, capturing it all, man. Shout out to your cuz, man. Keep doing what you do, brother. Thank you for all your support, man, and keep it rocking with the Leverage Show. Talk about it, man. We talked about it, man. My wife said, Cousin Arrow, welcome. Oh, yeah, you already know, man. That's like my, my wife finally got a chance to meet uh, Arrow down there as well, man. So that was just an amazing, amazing connection, man. And just being able to shadow, man, uh, my wife as well as the kids and capture moments, man, was just everything, man. And just around the family period, man. But it was a beautiful time, man. And I, I, I just... Bro, I, I can't speak enough of your cuz, man, for that, bro. I really thank you for that, man. For real, brother. Love you, man. Cousin said we had a ball. Yes, we did have a ball, man, cuz you know we did, man. PC talked about, hey, Arrow, showing love to my cuz, man. You already know, man. I love it, man. Uh, Arrow showing love to PC. What's good? Let's go. My baby says, man, traveling for two weeks got me beat. Yes. Uh, come out, family, and support us in D.C. Yes. For those for the conference, again, you guys are definitely uh, going for the conference, man. Uh, core for some event. Don't worry about it. We will probably have Brandon uh, back on the show between now and the event of next week when it definitely is starting. So make sure you guys, man, stay tapped in, man, to the Lever Show because we're going to make sure that we get it out there. Uh, core, but if you don't have your, your, your tickets, again, core for summitcom core for summitcom you guys will definitely love that. Blue Sky is in the building. Shout out to you, Blue Sky. Peace, leverage, show family. Thank you, Blue Sky, for always showing support, man. And definitely, man, keeping us hype, man, in this building. Uh, Arrow showing love to Blue Sky. That's what I'm talking about, man. PC showing love to Blue Sky. That's what we talk about. My guy, Isidro, is in the building. Hello, everyone. Better late than never. I hope everyone is having a blessed Tuesday. Isidro, yes, we are, brother. We are having a great Tuesday. Thank you. Shout out to you, man. Uh, Sidra was one of those special ones. I got a chance to connect while I was actually out, man. And uh, I'm trying to tell you this right now, man. It has truly been a blessing, man. You know, uh, so definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that, man. We are here for that to keep this thing going forward, brother. And, and excited, man. Sidra will be there next week for the Core 4 Summit Mastermind event. So I'm trying to tell you this right now, man. I've been seeing it posted in all kinds of groups. Jamesy posted it in his group, man, as well. Uh, we got a few other leaders that posted it in their group as well. So we're excited, man, to actually see you guys all in D.C. Uh, next, fr next Friday and Saturday. And the event is actually on Saturday, which is December the 2nd. Uh, from 9 a.m., I think, to 9 p.m. There's dinner and everything else included. It's a really, really, really amazing event. Like I said, Lambo will be there. I'll be speaking out there, and I will make sure that we are there. 11 more days to go. 11 more days to go. If you guys have been sitting on the fence and you guys want to get to that mastermind event, go ahead and book your tickets today. Book your tickets this week. Some of y'all probably have been waiting to the first to book your tickets. You mean like, Lambo, I really want to book but hey, I gotta wait till I get the check or whatever the case may be around the first or on the first, or whatever, man. Hey, if you go to the site and there's still tickets left, purchase your tickets, come on out, man, and have a great time, man. I will be there and a lot of other great people will be there. You don't wanna miss that core4summit.com, the core four mastermind event will be there December 1st, December 2nd. Shout out to you, Central, man. You already know full salute, man, on what you're doing, man. Looking forward to seeing you, man. Uh, PC says, hey, I see showing love to I see. I love it. Uh, Blue Sky is showing love to Arrow Man with the pound. Let's go, man. Uh, my baby says, I love it. Positive conversations. Yes, we have, man. That's all we love to keep around here is positive conversations, man. It makes the biggest difference in life when you are doing that. Let me tell you something. When you have to understand this and have to know this. This whole broadcast has been based around being positive and been based and centered around the love of Jesus Christ. 
And if you guys have not seen that or have not noticed that and have not looked at every single video and went back, you guys will be able to see that. You guys will be able to see we are open about this. We're open about making sure that you guys get what you guys need to get and be balanced in every area of your life. You know, I got a chance to talk with my Uncle Bojo when I was down there, man. And shout out to him, man. Just, just an amazing, amazing man. If you ever want to be around a man, I'm telling you, him and Sister Carletta, just two amazing people. And uh, I got a chance to talk with him, man. I told y'all. And we got a chance to talk about some time. And when he said, he said, you know, nephew, I drop in sometimes on you just to be able to see what you're talking about and, and know what you're talking about. And I love to hear what you're talking about. And I said, there has been so many times in my life, and this is a true story, this is true, true. I had this conversation with my wife where I thought my platform would be different to so many people. And I was like, okay, God, you know, where, where am I at within all of this? And God was saying, no, 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 no. I'm aligning you to do something else because there are some other things that people need that you have that I'm going to show you how to possess, how to do some things, right? That it's going to be way bigger than you ever imagined. And I'm telling you what, on YouTube right now, we're almost at 25,000 followers on YouTube, 25,000 subscribers, not, not followers, subscribers. Thank every single one of y'all for getting this out. Was 25,000 people. I got so many family members, they don't even know how big the YouTube is because they only can, they only see you on Facebook and they'll pop in or see, see little different things. So hearing that from my uncle over the weekend, bless my life, man, because I'm trying to tell you this right now. I always did things, man, with the approval. And my wife can tell you this, of hearing my grandmother's voice in my head and hearing her prayers and, and everything that she said that I want you to go do it. I want you to go accomplish. And don't look back, grandson, because there's so many more people out there that your life has to touch. And Ms. Dorothy May Johnson had, was one of the most inspirational and most pillars in my life. And I'm telling you, every day, every day in my head and every day in my spirit, man, I'm always having a conversation, man, and reflecting back on some of the things that she says or she has done and how she's pillared my life, right? And because of that, I am who I am. I'm the Lambo Drew in front of y'all. And I'm the Lambo Drew to so many people. That's how effective and being impactful that you want to have. And that was my prayer at the beginning of this year. And for those who know that, you guys can go back to that, that show at the beginning of the year. Go look back at all of the wonderful episodes. And I said, God, this year, I just want to be more impactful for you in every way possible whether it's spiritual, whether it's mental, whether it's financial, whether it's uh, family, whether it's friends, whether it's you being a, a better inward you that God has created, a more healthier you, so you can be healthy to other people. That's all I ever wanted to do. So when you when you see this show, you have made the show yours and you say, you know what, Lambo, you're 100% you're right. You're real, you're relatable. You're somebody I'm focused, I can look at. And I know for a fact you're real. You tell your testimony, you tell your story, you tell your ups, you tell your downs, you tell your ins and outs. This is what the Leverage Show is about. We are all human. We are all walking and we have a purpose and a reason why God has all put us here. And when you find that out, you'll be able to be the most productive you you can possibly be to mankind. And at the end of it, at the end of it, at the end of your journey, there's only two words that you want to be done. And you want him to say it to you. And that's well done. Well done. You don't care about anything else. You don't, you can't take all this stuff with you. But in the process, in the journey, go enjoy life. Go have fun. That's what you want to do. But you have fun knowing the standards that you actually have around you the limits that you actually have around you. Do you think that Lambo Drew could be the Lambo Drew if I was out here robbing banks and, and killing people and doing all of this, this craziness that people are doing? No, I became this because there had to be a voice that needed to be raised up, straight up. A voice that looks like, like people like us and raised up and saying, you know what? I need you to tell your story. I need you to talk about your journey. 
I need you to go help other people so that they can go help their journey so that they can go get empowered because there's a lot of people, they're not gonna be empowered. And I hate to say this, they're not gonna be empowered by some of the things that they see or the places that they attend or they go to. They're not gonna be empowered. They're gonna be only surface and giving a motivational message. And then that's it. They're not gonna have the tools to really help change their life and really help become a vision and bring vision to pass and go help other people and go help pour into their vision. That's what this thing is about. This thing is about you not canning all you get, get all you can, can all you get. And that's what we do. We, we have a philosophy in life where it's get all you can and you who has the most toys win. And that's not it. That's not what we are here for. We're not here for you have the most toys so that you can beat on your chest and show people and everything, man, that this is what it's about. No, all that stuff is going to go away. You're going to start aging. You're going to get old. What are you going to do, man, for your eternity? What are you going to do for the long run? What are you going to do for the rest of your life? When you look back over your life, have you really helped all the people that you really can help? Have you really empowered all the people that you're really set to empower? Or have you become laxy daisy? You know, it troubled me. This is a true story. It troubled me that I remember that, and this is a true story. I, I don't want to go ahead and offend anybody when I say this. It troubled me when I looked at and I seen a few people that were still stuck in the same position that they had been in 20 years ago when I last seen them, or even worse. It troubled me when I seen that. I said, man, what happened to you? And and I got to talk, talking to different people between the barbershop and between family members and permitting this. And I say, man, yo, life just hit me. It troubled me. And the reason why it troubled me because I said, well, wow, I, I see I'm impacting. I see what the show is doing. I see what the show is meaning. And I see how many people saying, Lambo, the Lever Show has changed my life. It's done something to me. It's got my whole walk totally changed around, totally different than what you're used to. The Leverage Show did that. And when you look at some people who were stuck in life, you're like, wow, I, I, did I have enough bigger impact to help them? You know, you, you, you constantly have that fight. And, and many of us may deal with this, that you may have family members, you may have friends, you may have people from your past that you look back and say, has your life been impactful enough to help change them and get them out of their pit that they have been in? Is your life, is what you're doing, like, like all of your plans, all of your goals, all of your dreams, all of your hopes, when you get up in the morning and God blesses you with another day to open your eyes and you say, you know what, okay, what do I do today? What is my task today? Do you just... Do it just to get through the day? Or are you really trying to be impactful? Are you really trying to do something that is really changing lives? Like I'm serving in my why. I got here because I was serving in my why. I got here when I started helping people. That's when people started saying, okay, well, Lambo, we'll do business with you because we like how you do business between real estate, between stocks, between this, between that, between me, and so many other different things. We'll do business with you because we like the way how you handled that. That goes back to the story of the talents. You understand? He gave one five. He, in the way he gave one five, he gave one 10 because they were able to multiply. And he gave them cities back. But the other one who buried it, he just buried it and said, uh, you know, I thought you, you know, and I want you to go in here and be mad at me if I lost it. You can't do that. This life is not you to bury your gift and that be that. You have to go multiply it. And the, remember, and everything, and Drew looked at him, he said, you wicked one. The last thing I want to be called and everything, and the last thing you want to be called in your life because you dropped the ball for whatever reason is to be called wicked for you not being able to handle what God has placed in your hands. That's what this broadcast is about. That's what the leverage show is about. 
it's just saying, you know what, Lambo, you're right. I dropped the ball. I've been dropping it for years. I've been dropping it for months. I've been dropping it for weeks. I haven't really got back on a horse of really being able to dream again and really being able to allow this vision to come to pass. My prayer life has dropped. My meditation life has dropped. The things and everything that I'm doing that I'm actually should be moving forward has literally started rescinding and going the opposite way. That's what this show is about. To help jumpstart you and tell you, you can go, you can make it. Listen, ma'am, listen, sir, you can make it. Keep going. This is only yet, but just for a little while that you're going to make it through. And you're going to suffer these things and then boom, you're going to get to that next level. You're going to get to what you've been dreaming about. You're going to get to what you've been writing about. You're going to get to what you've been seeing in your vision, in your head, what God has showed you. You're going to get to that place. But you have to keep going. You can't stop. That's what this show is about. So when my wife says, I love it, we're having positive conversations. That's all what this show has been about. Is making sure that we have the conversations that most people don't have or most people can't turn to or to a broadcast or, or flick on their phone to really say, hey, this is positive. This is something I could take with me. I, I can really help change my life and change people's lives with this. This show is a fire starter. You catch fire from this show. I have never heard somebody say they came to the level show and literally started to go the opposite way in their life because they couldn't catch fire. I've never heard that. And if you are out there, let me know. I would love to have a personal conversation with you. Lambo would get some sort of message across where we can actually go ahead and exchange information. And I would love to come talk with you, meet with you, or whatever we can do with you. That's what Lambo is here for. Not only to show you the amazing opportunities you have in front of your face, but to show you how amazing of a person that you are to your face. To tell you that and let you know that you are wonderfully made. You're just not existing in life. Your life is just not all of a sudden just coming together. No, your life has purpose and you're coming into your full togetherness. Each and every single day that you watch this show, each and every single day that you apply the principles from the show, each and every single day that you say, you know what? I'm working on becoming a more better me, a little bit more tomorrow, a little bit more tomorrow, a little bit more tomorrow, so I can go help somebody else. That's what the Leverage Show is about. That's what this is about. We try to keep this positivity going because we see how much we give back. As we sow out, we get back. We sow out, we get back. That's just the law that has already been put in place. So thank you for that, my wonderful wifey. I just had to go ahead and expound on that just for a minute. All right, where are we at? We got a lot of comments still. All right, Blue Sky, showing love, PC, man. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Blue Sky, man, the PC. Blue Sky, man, the IC, showing love. I see you in the building, man. Elro says, what's up, IC? Hey. Yes, you already know IC. It's good to see IC here. IC says, man, hi, Blue Sky. It's good to see you. That's what we want, man. Money says, man, Blue Sky says, showing love to money. Money, yes, definitely having money in the building is always great. Shout out to your money. Thank you for doing what you do. IC say, hello, Errol, sir. Sir Errol, let's go. Blue Sky says, cutie potato. Hey, showing love. That's what I want to see. Cutie potato says, don't forget to hit the like button. Yes, all you people who are on uh, YouTube, make sure you guys hit the like button. Again, if you guys are not subscribed to YouTube, it's Lambo Drew TMT. Lambo Drew TMT. Go like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Uh, make sure you guys hit the all, all button and for the bell notification. All button for the bell notification, man. So you guys will know when this is dropping. I'm trying to tell you this right now. You guys definitely want to be involved, man. Hello, IC, man. Hello, PC. Shout out to your PC for showing love and everything, man. IC showing love to PC. I love that. Blue Sky showing love to my wife. And thank y'all, man. I'm telling y'all, when y'all definitely show love to my wife, man, I truly thank each and every single one of y'all for that. Cutie Potato for Life says hi to all. Hey, I know that's right, man. Definitely want to see you. Uh, hello, Mrs. Johnson, man. IC showing love. I uh, My baby showing love to IC and Blue Sky. 
I see showing love to Cutie P. Hey, you already know. Blue Sky is showing love to Passive Income Crack. Shout out to you, man. If you guys are not following my guy, Passive Income Crack, man, on YouTube, please go and like and subscribe. Follow my guy, Passive Income Crack. He is really helping change in lives. I'm telling you this right now. That pin group with him, Joseph Ford, uh, and, and all the rest of them, Credit Pastor and all of them, man, they have been amazing and influential to this broadcast. And I thank each and every single one of them, man. So make sure, again, you guys go like and subscribe to my guy, Passive Income Croc, on YouTube. And definitely go allow his financial, uh, wonderful, wonderful financial walk to help change your life. Because he's definitely out there, man, changing lives, man. Uh, between him, his community, uh, Jay Ford, that pen group, I'm telling you, they are killing it out there, man. Make sure you guys want to be involved with that. My wife is showing love to Cynthia. Hey, yeah, you already know, man. Showing love to me. Cynthia Davis, man. Yes, those kind words were great to hear from you, Errol. Greatly appreciate you, man. You already know and everything, man. Shout out to it and everything, man. My cousin is doing his thing. Thank you for that, man. Uh, Errol says, no problem, cuz. You can see it when you have been in a bad marriage like I was, man. Hey, hey, shout out to you, man. Listen, man, my cuz was there. I'm telling you, man, he just was just an amazing, amazing, amazing point of view. And him sharing, hey, man, I'm on this leverage show. I'm there. I'm tapped in. Uh, I told you we come on three times a week, man, Tuesday nights. Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, and Fridays at noon Eastern. You want to be on this leverage show, man. Uh, now, this Thursday, we will not be on because of Thanksgiving. Uh, so make sure you guys definitely are uh, there for that, man. Not on for that. Enjoy time with your family for this Thursday night. So this is the only live show that we are going to do this week. Uh, so make sure you guys are on it. Now, I probably will do a Finance Friday, even if it's pre-recorded or whatever. I will see. I may just do it live. Don't worry about it. I will let you guys know. Just set that notification bell, man. And uh, noon Eastern on um, Fridays or 11 a.m. Uh, Central Time, I will be on there uh, running over all the wonderful financial plays that you guys need to be into. And if you guys haven't seen it, man, there has been a lot of plays over the last week, two weeks, that I would love to really go ahead and tap into. Even Apple launching the healthcare service that you guys can get as low as $9 a month. Oh, my God. I don't know if you guys seen that, man, but there's a lot of great, oh, my God, there's a lot of stuff out there out there that's uh, available for you guys that you guys can be taking advantage of and really allowing this to help change your life man so definitely you be on it uh yes you did arrow man showing love my wife showing love to my my, my cuz man in the building i love to see that oh snap this is my own right here what's up nephew shout out to your uncle bojo man i was just speaking on you earlier on man shout out to you thank you for tapping in man i know he's my own says he's a silent assassin, man. So he he gets out and he he will just stop in, man. And he you know they ain't gonna say too much or nothing, man. But just him stopping in today is everything, man. Shout out to you, Uncle Bojo. Thank you, man, just for really being able to talk with you, see you and Sister Colette, take pictures, hug your neck, man, and really kind of we suspend the time, man, in the middle of that place, man. And I'm telling you what, we had an amazing time, man. Shout out to your Uncle B, man. I love you, love you, love you, man. Thank you for all that you were able to do, man, and bless us with, man, while we were there. And that picture that you guys uh, see on the screen, uh, that picture, man, is my dad, my Uncle Bojo, my Uncle Ben, uh, my Auntie Janice, uh, and Trish is down at the bottom, which is my Uncle Ben's uh, wife, man. So shout out and everything. That's an amazing picture. Love seeing all the brothers, man, that are on there, as well as the sister that is there, and then the sister-in-law, too, as well, man. Shout out to your own man. Keep doing what you do. I love you, man. Um, Errol says, thank you. I appreciate the conversation we had. Man, that's that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for, man. Having these conversations, man, and making sure that we continue to keep keep moving forward, man, out here. I see with the praying hands. Thank you, I see. You already know, man. Yes, indeed. I will see you there, fam. Yes, we definitely will. I will see you guys there, man, next week in D.C. for the Core 4 Summit Mastermind, where yours truly, Lambo, will be there, man. And I will make sure 
that you guys are there to come see us and stuff like that. We're going to be giving out amazing information on let me come hug you next. Let me come take some pictures. Let's see you guys out there, man, for that core four mastermind. Uh, we got a lot of amazing, great leaders out there, man. Matter of fact, I think there's a leadership call tonight. So I'm definitely going to have to jump on there once I give you guys uh, when I'm getting ready to give you guys the preacher president, such a distinguished man of God. There he goes, man. This is King Ron in the building, man. Shout out to you, King Ron, man, in the building, man. He is the only gentleman I know, man, that literally, man, pops in on, uh, you know, the community and everybody, man, that's underneath him. And he comes to show love just for you guys, just because he is who he is. And that's King Ron, man. And we all love him for him being King Ron, brother. Thank you, man. I love all your stories. Love your family. Love watching you and your girls, man. And you guys do your thing, man. Continue to keep on, King, man. I promise you, man, I'm going to continue to make you happy, brother, man. Blessing you on you, man. Uh, Freddie B is in the building. Shout out to my guy, man. Peace and blessings to you all, man. Shout out to you, Freddie B, man. Bro, we was back getting it in, man, in New Orleans, brother. We had some amazing food, brother. As you already know, man. And we had the debate, man. We had the debate. We had the debate. And, and I think you ruffled some feathers, man, about this debate, man. Who's got the best food, New Orleans or Baton Rouge? New Orleans or Baton Rouge? And everybody unanimously said, and we got family members who live in Baton Rouge, and they said, man, New Orleans had way more spots than Baton Rouge. But that is to be determined. We thankful for both Baton Rouge and New Orleans, man. If you guys get down there, man, I'm telling you, go to both cities because y'all will definitely love them. The food is amazing in both cities, man. But I heard that you guys got some tacos that's been cutting up out there in BR, man. So shout out to your man, Freddie B, the full Sanders family. We love y'all. We thank y'all. You, Britt Jacks, you already know, man. Let's make this thing happen, man. Uh, my baby says, welcome, Fred, man. Yes, definitely welcome, Freddie B. And the Sanders crew, man, they already out there getting it, man. You already know. It's good to see them, man. Definitely back in the saddle, man, and things. Uh, Blue Sky showing love to Freddie B, man. Definitely with the claps and the pounds. Let's go make this thing happen, man. Maybe Freddie B got some fish for y'all. Hello, hello, and happy holidays to you, man. Happy holidays to you, Freddie B. You and the entire Sanders crew, man. And happy holidays to everybody, man. Big happy Thanksgiving, man, to everybody all out there because y'all already know, man, that that's what we are here for, to show some amazing, amazing love for you guys. Bo Joe, what's up, cuz? Who that, baby? You know he ain't going to say no who that, man. Errol is speaking with him, man. My uncle Bo Joe is a diehard Dallas Cowboys fan. He loves Dallas. He bleeds that blue and silver, man, like you have never seen before. Him and my uncle Darvin, I'm telling you, my uncle Darvin, who had just passed away and we had the funeral the week before in uh, Columbus, Ohio, man, were the two of the most diehard Cowboys fans that I know. And I know some Dallas fans that are out there, but those two were some amazing Dallas Cowboys fans. So shout out and everything, man. And that. Man, Errol, Errol, too funny, man, on that one, man. Listen, I want to get into this. I want to touch this real quick. I just spent an hour and 24 minutes going through some amazing things roll call from y'all for everything. But let's get down to this. Let's talk about tackle the depth mindset. And I'm going to be quick because I do have another engagement to get to. All right. Uh, I want to give you guys 10 things, right? 10 things to avoid getting into debt. 10 things you guys can write down and practice to avoid getting yourself into debt. We know it's holiday season. We know it's holiday time. Black Friday is one of the most, uh, you know, times that we already know that it's going to be here this Friday, right after Thanksgiving. And that's when everybody starts to go to start spending. And it starts spending for Christmas, New Year's, and all of these sales that they're going to be pitching to you guys to make sure you guys are spending money in the consumer. We want to help you guys begin to start avoiding some of those traps that you guys are seeing. That don't mean I want you to spin it. I just don't want you guys to go into debt. Ladies and gentlemen, Lambo is here to help you guys see yourselves out of that. How to tackle this debt monster. 
How do you see the traps before they come? And if you got caught into the trap because, hey, you know what, Lambo, I was out, you know, trying to do some things, trying to get some things done. I need to get some things, you know, situated. I'm going to show you and give you the right tips to help you go ahead and get out of that if you are in that. All right. Ten key strategies and tips you can guys can do. All right. Number one. Here we go. If you can't afford it without a credit card, don't buy it. Don't buy it. You can't afford it without a credit card. Don't buy it. We know the biggest consumer time throughout this year, right? They start giving out and start pitching more commercials, more infomercials, more commercials, more advertisement, even within the department stores that you guys are purchasing will be credit cards, store cards, credit cards, and anything with a credit line attached to it. You do not want to get yourself conditioned to the point where you're saying, yeah, I, I use my credit to leverage my credit, to go get me the credit card so I can go put the thing on credit and definitely buy it. Your mindset should be going into this thing. You know what? I'm going to be aware of that, that, that trap. I'm not going to do it. If I can't afford to take care of this out of my budget, I'm not going to buy it. You have to discipline yourself that. I know it's going to be kind of hard. I know some of you guys... And some of you ladies have probably went on ahead, paid down a lot of your debt off, right? Throughout the year. And your debt has been amazing. Kudos to you for that. The Lambo Bell, that's what you get. But at the end of the day, I know, as well as the consumer knows, that consumer spending around this time of the year, the week of Thanksgiving, going all the way into the first of the year, is at its highest all year long. These next 37 days, it's all it is, is one of the highest that hits Americans every single year. So we need to go ahead and look for the traps and look for the temptations that actually do set us back. And that's what Lambo want to do. I want to provide to you a step-by-step -step guide to say, you know what? You're right, Lambo. I can't do that. I cannot do that. You, you're right. I worked too hard on my credit to getting my utilization down just to turn around and go right back into it because I got the wants. Remember, I got. I told you guys that you guys can actually get yourself in, in a sale so much that because everything is a sale that you guys have, you guys can go into debt saving. Have you ever heard of that? You guys can go into debt saving. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. You can go broke saving. Yes, Lambo said it. You can go broke saving. You know how you go broke saving? You see an infomercial. Black Friday's coming up. Hey, you guys are getting ready to save 50%, 75%, 85%, 90%, whatever the case may be. So the impulse to you is to go do what? Well, I got to catch the sale because I have the FOMO, the fear of missing out, right? And if I miss out on the sale, this is what the debt is going to do. I'm going to avoid me missing out on getting this at a liquidated price. And for those who do know this, right? Some of those sales are really amazing. But let me ask yourself, what's your limit? What's your limit? What do you look for when the sales do come? What are you affording your debt to be able to pile up or decrease because they have pitched a sale for you for Black Friday or for a holiday sale? Okay. If you can't afford it without a credit card, without using your credit card, you do not need to be purchasing it. I need for y'all to do something for me. And then speaking of that, right? This goes on to my next one, right? Let's get this right. Have a fallback emergency fund. That's number two. Have a fallback emergency fund. Let's be real with you. I can't stop you from spending, right? But if I can prepare you for what you're getting ready to spend, and you actually do have a fallback emergency fund, I can prepare you to suffer the blow. 
and say, you know what, Lambo, you're right. You couldn't stop me from spending. I just had to get it. It was 75% off. I needed three of them. You wanted to bless three people with it? Okay, I'm not stopping you from spending. The leverage show is not even going to teach you how to stop yourself from spending if you do get a great deal. But you have to get yourself with the trap of overspending. And how you combat with that of overspending is setting you up aside another savings account that's a fallback emergency fund, right? The fallback emergency fund. If you do decide to spend 20% of your budget, 25% of your budget, some of y'all 30% of your budget. The budget is the finances that is coming in minus your expenses, like your housing expense, bills, car note, food, all of that stuff like that, gas, minus those expenses. You need to understand with that expense that you have left in your kitty fund that you're willing to spend. If you're sacrificing your bill money, you're sacrificing your daily expenses just to purchase these things, you're already getting yourself into a trap. How you avoid that? Say, you know what, Lambo? You're right. Before I get myself into a trap, I'm going to put the money aside to emergency fund. I'm going to put $500 aside. I'm going to designate that as if I would go purchase something that was on sale. The same $500 that you would spend for a sale, put it aside into a savings account. Put it to the side when to something where it's more difficult for you to have access to. If you usually have a debit account or debit card that's attached to it with a Visa MasterCard logo, 10 to 1, you will definitely be using it when the sale happens because that little swipe button just keeps swiping, right? All right. I need for you to put that emergency aside. So the, the same thing that you said that you're going to spend $500 on Black Friday or anytime after, make sure you put it aside, okay? Number three, try to pay your credit card balances off in full. This is the number biggest thing that we can possibly do when you guys are actually tackling this debt monster and avoiding these pitfalls. You understand? Avoiding these pitfalls. Make sure that you have decided to say, you know what, before I put money into this particular investment where you have said this is an investment because you're buying three blenders or you're buying three big screen TVs and you've already got eight of them in the house already, that's impulsive buying. You do not want to shop impulsive buying because you're thinking that you're saving a deal and that you're going to give three TVs out to people. When all you may need for the person that really you really that really is rocking with you real big is just one. You're right, Lambo. I just need one. I don't need to buy three. I don't need to buy two. Don't need to buy four. I'm gonna just buy one. Pay your credit card balances down instead. Use that money, pay your credit card balances down instead. Now, when you actually go to say, you know what, I'm ready to go shopping or something like that, you're going to think about the credit card balances that you use for the money that you would have had impulsive buying to spend it on that. You say, you know what, I've already dedicated that money to paying down my credit card balances. I'm not going to do that. I put my emergency fund up, pay my credit card balances down. I'm actually going into the flow. Number four, cut off the wants. Focus on the needs. Cut off the wants. Focus on the needs. You may be keep saying, you know what? I have to go out. I have to go. We got to go out to eat. We got to go do this. We got to go do that. You have to focus on the needs. What are your needs? What are your basics? What do you need to be covered? Look at all your bills. Take care of your bills first. You should not be having disconnections and anything happening just because you want to start impulsive buying. It's the wrong habits to buy. So not only should you be in page of balances down, not only should you have an emergency fund aside, you should also cut down all of your wants and focus and designate your finances on your needs. The wants will continuously to be there. You're always probably gonna want 
probably a Porsche or probably a Jag or I don't know. You probably want a you know a hot air balloon or something like that. That's probably what you want to do. Some y'all probably want to buy a jet. But would you sacrifice everything that you're currently having right now, as in far as your roof over your head, your expenses as far as your utilities, and as far as your access cash flow that you actually do have, in case an emergency does happen, that you can bail yourself out of, would you sacrifice all of that for momentary pleasure? Again, number four, sacrifice your wants, cut down your wants from your needs throughout this time. And watch how you'll be ahead of this. Number five, everything is better with a budget. So some of y'all may need to say, you know what? You're right, Lambo. Before heading into Friday, I'm writing down everything on my list. I'm writing down this budget. I see this budget. I see this list. I see what's going on. I see what's coming in. I see what has to be designated to these bills, utilities. I see the extra cash flow. I see a little money that I have aside. If you set aside 25%, 15% for that to be your spending money, let that be your spending money only. Straight up. If that 25 or 30% out of all of your budget money is $500, don't feel bad over the $500. I would rather you spend the $500 on gifts that you can give out, that you can find good bargains in, then for you to go to debt in $5,000. It's a difference. $500, $5,000. It's a little hole to get out of $500. It's a way larger hole to get out of $5,000. So again, set your budget, set your list, put it in front of you. And I'm telling you, when them commercials or when your ads pop up on your phone, because they're going to pop up on your phone, like galore, they're gonna pop up on your TV. You're gonna be probably around the turkey and everything for Thanksgiving. And they're gonna show all of these ads and you're probably gonna go to the store. Well, it doesn't hurt to go look. It doesn't hurt to go look, but that's the trap. That's where they get you at. And that's where you need to be smart and design yourself to say, you know what? You're right, Lambo. I'm gonna sacrifice me having myself get into all this debt and allow for me to be mentally financially cautious of my excessive spending because I want to be an impulsive buyer. All right. So keep that in mind. Keep the budget in front of your face. Keep it on your phone. Keep it somewhere close. Remind yourself of the budget. All right. Number six, do not, whatever you do, use credit card for cash advances. Do not use your credit card for cash advances. Everybody knows that. The APR that you guys are actually using to go on ahead, man, and to get this APR for cash advances for this, right about now, the interest rate will keep eating you up over time, especially if you have spent just a little bit too much. Oh, well, you know, Lambo, I'm just going to pull a little bit of money from my card. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. That APR will start to eat away at you over time. Hey, I took it out $2,000. The APR is such and such, you know, it's 17%, 18%, 25%, whatever the case may be. Remember, you're paying that per month off of that credit card. Shout out to you, Josh, business credit. I see you. Hey, bud, let's catch up soon. Head in the bed. Thank you for tapping in on the leverage show. I see you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys know that Josh... Get business credit, man. One of the gurus out here, man. He's my guy. He already know how we do this thing. Thank you, Josh, for tapping in, man. Blue Sky says, yes, avoid debt traps. Yes. Do not buy impulsively. Yes. If you cannot buy with a credit card, that's number one. Yes, don't buy it at all. Number two, have a fallback plan for emergency fund. Number three, pay down your credit card balances in full for the next cycle, too. That's amazing. Number four, starve your wants for your needs. Make sure you're only purchasing on your needs, not just your wants. And number five, as you guys told I told it, make sure everything is better with the budget. Put a budget in front of you. Pull the budget out when you're in the store. You guys may think this is the funniest thing that I'm saying to you, but pull your budget out in front of the store. Before you go make, before you go to your computer, before you go to your phone and make the purchase. And I know you're gonna scroll. I get it. I understand it. Lambo is not here to stop you from buying. I'm here for you to minimize what you buy to getting yourself caught up into something that literally you're going to be 
fishing years later, months to years later to get yourselves out of because you have truly not financially put yourself into uh, the right financial place. Number six, do not use credit cards, cash advances. Again, the APR is what's killing a lot of people. Number seven, limit the number of cards you have. Listen, I got I to gotta, I gotta do something for you. That's, that's number seven. That's huge. Limit the number of cards you have. That does not mean close them out. What this means is ice them. I need for you to ice the cards. If you got 10 credit cards, I need to you to ice at least eight to seven, seven to eight of them, and only use two. Ice seven to eight of them. Put them on ice. So you know what, Lambo? I'm locking them away. I'm putting these cards up. You're 100% right. I don't need these cards. The more cards that you actually have available, the more that you're going to be attempted to use the limit, especially around holiday season. And so what happens is, is you get in your head, calculating everything. You say, oh, I can put 400 on this card. I can put 1,000 on this card. Put 4,000 on this card. I can put 6,000 on this card. And then all of a sudden, you're like, you're, you're calculating your balances and you're saying, hey, I got enough cards. I'm not even worrying about it. They were all zero balances. And you probably just racked up just that fast ten to $20,000 worth of debt, unawarely, thinking that I was just using a little bit here, a little bit there. But you have to learn to use the ICE mechanism. If you got 10 cards, ICE eight of them. The two cards that you use, make sure that you are minimally using those cards to pay for minimum things, just to keep them in rotation, right? Netflix, bills, gas, little things like that, and then paying them right off if you can. That's how you use it. You have to use the ICE mechanism. And I understand it. It's hard around this time to use, but I'm telling you, it will help. You. Number eight, master your sheet of expenses. Master your sheet of expenses. This is literally that budget I told you. Have that budget in front of you when you guys are and you get ladies and men are actually out there and you're purchasing, you're shopping. If you have that in front of you, hey, these are all my expenses. I've already paid for this, I paid for this, I paid for this, I paid for this. Hey, Lambo, I do have a little extra in here. Okay, I guess I can go do a little shopping here. Go do it. But make sure all of your expenses on your master sheet of your, of your expenses, that the cash flow that you went in and the cash flow that you paid out, all of the stuff. Make sure that it matches the little extra that you have aside and that you're not taking from that master of expenses sheet. Make sure it's not taking from that. So that the little bit that you do have aside, when you do have your emergency fund aside, and this is the extra outside of the emergency fund, guess what? You go shopping, go have fun. Go, you can go blow it, as I say. And I don't care what that number is. That number could be 2,000, 5,000. I don't know what it is. You may have, you know, I don't know, another 5000 for an emergency set aside. You were able to blow 5000 and all of your expenses are taken care of. So now you got money aside just in case of, uh, uh, of an emergency. You got money that you can shop with, and then all of your master expenses are already taken care of. So now that way, coming out of this thing, you already know, Lambo, you're right. I'm ahead of the game. I feel and everything, man, a lot more better when spending, when you actually have a plan in place. You're actually looking at your finances going out rather than what you actually have coming in. All right. Number nine, in case of pay increases, right? In case of pay increases, lower your outgo. So if you get a raise, most of the time you guys get Christmas bonuses. This is what a pay increase is. Christmas bonus, Christmas raise, something like that. You guys may have picked up another job, working a little bit more. Uh, hey, I got this extra coming in. May have got some gift cards from some people. Listen, when you get those increases coming in, right, set them aside. I, I know it's rough. I know it's going to be difficult. I promise you, I know what I'm talking about. Set it aside. And then go through your budget. Go through your master of expenses. Make sure everything is taken care of. Make sure your fund is set aside, your emergency fund. And then put that designated of 
that increase of that bonus of that whatever, put that into that. If you got to separate it and put a little bit into your emergency fund and then put a little bit into your spending fund so you can spend, do that. This will help you out. This will help you out. Number nine, again, put pay increases aside. Watch out for pay increases is what it is. But put pay increases aside. This will help you. Those cards that you get in the mail and you can't wait to get and all of that good stuff, and they got cash flow and they got gift cards and all of that or whatever the case may be, put it aside. Don't go use it up right in there. And then look at your master sheet and then put it in the budget. And number 10, Collect coupons and save your cash. I tell everybody this all the time. If you guys got a coupon for something, you guys can do that, man. Put it in there. And I'm trying to tell you this right now. This will help you out tremendously to getting yourself and avoiding yourself, to getting yourself into that debt and getting out of that debt. By using those coupons, don't be afraid to use no coupon at no store or anything else or put a promo code in or whatever. And they say, hey, this is coming from this fund. I've got all of these other things checked off on my list. I feel a lot better now being able to shop throughout this holiday season because now I can actually see where my money's going, what it is taken care of, and what I'm able to do with it. And that is where you want to be. All right, listen, I hope these 10 steps help you out. Blue Sky, make sure you get... Those other ones out there, man, as well. I hope they did. She just says everything is, is better with the budget. Yes. Don't take cash advances from a credit card. Six, yes. Seven, limit the number of cards you use each cycle. Yes. Master your expense sheet. Yes. Pay an increase and set it aside. Any pay increase, set it aside. Reevaluate expenses according to the budget sheet. Yes. And number 10, again, collect coupons and save your cash. Okay. Collect your coupons, save your cash. Use those coupons. Use those promo codes. Use those things that are out there that you can go ahead and set your cash aside. So just in case of emergency, if you need it, you can pay down different things or extra things that you need to do that will help you out in the long run. And I promise you, you use these steps, these 10 steps, they will help save your life, especially in this time when we are definitely using this for the holiday season. Listen. I love you guys. I really want to thank you. Hopefully, this has been some great information that you guys can take advantage of and share with your family members, share with your friends, share with your coworkers, share this with some loved ones that you guys can use this throughout these holiday seasons and especially allow you to be able to tackle that debt monster just a little bit better. Be able to see it coming, but be able to prepare for it because I'm telling you what right now, we want to be a healthy community moving forward and allow you to be able to gain and allow your money to invest and gain money off of some other investments that really are assets making money. Again, this is assets over liabilities. Make sure you guys are using that and using the strategies that we're putting in front of you. Listen, I want to thank each and every single body. Uh, I thank every single one of y'all. Thank you, Blue Sky, man. Blue Sky, put this on there. Use coupons, codes. Please set it aside and use your cash. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much, man. Blue Sky is our note taker, man. You already know how she does this thing. Thank you so much for all that you do, man. Blue Sky with the love, man. Showing love. The money bag sign. You already know, man. That's what we are here for, to help empower each other throughout this time so you guys can actually take advantage of this and start moving forward in life. Listen, Lambo truly loves you, man. I thank you. Thank you, Blue Sky, for writing them all down. Issa says, you already know Blue Sky is going to make sure that she gets them written down so you guys can take advantage of that. Blue Sky with the money bags and everything, man. Thank you, sir. That's what we're here for, man, out here to make sure you guys are getting what you guys need and you guys can pass this information around and share this with family members and friends and people and show them how to become a little bit more aware of the trips, the scams, and, and everything else that kind of get people hemmed up throughout this time. And we do not want you guys to be on that side of the fence. We want you guys to be on the side of the fence that is growing your wealth and allowing you to grow yourself over time. Now, again, uh, Lambo does and everything. I love to go ahead and make sure I know this time is very, very, very uh, difficult for a lot of people because it is the holiday time. If you need to talk with someone, I'm telling you this right now, 
BetterHelp.com, man. Make sure you guys reach out to BetterHelp.com, man. Uh, you guys can go there, man. Get with an agent. Talk to somebody. If you feel like you can't talk with anyone or nobody is understanding of where you're at and what you're trying to do, the places that you're trying to go, reach out to BetterHelp.com. promise you this right now. They will definitely have the right assistance around you and the right person that will definitely help connect with you to help change your life. And definitely, man, for those and everything, man, know uh, if you guys do not have a life insurance policy, man, set up, please go ahead, man, and get yourself set up with ethoslifeman.com. This is a policy, man, that they can definitely get you set up with in case an inevitable does happen and you do have to go ahead and leave your loved ones. You want to make sure that you're leaving them with a will rather than leaving them with the bill. Put your trust, your factors, and all these things that are need to be put in place so that you and your loved ones can actually have a more efficient life. That's what we're here for. And for those and everything, man, who do say, you know what, Lambo, you're right. I'm going to take some of that money and some of these tips and some of these tricks. I'm going to put that money aside into that emergency fund. And I would love to do some, you know, small investing or savings fund. This is right here. A great savings fund. You guys can go to prize pool, get prizepool.com. Well, they will actually go ahead and grow your money on your savings account as well. And you will grow at a way higher yield interest rate than a normal typical banks do actually grow. Make sure you guys go get signed up at getprizepool.com and allow yourself to probably be in those weekly drawings that they actually have giveaways to as well. And make sure you guys are definitely taking full advantage of that. Listen, I have loved you guys. I've been your host, Lambo Drew. Thank you guys for so much. An amazing show. Y'all have a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving, man, from the entire Leverage show, the entire family. I truly thank y'all. Spend time with your loved ones. Spend time with your family members. Spend time with your friends. This is the Leverage show, and this is your Thanksgiving show, man, for you guys. Again, get some of that good gobble. Get some of that good food. And spend time with the wonderful, wonderful people, man, that you call family members or friends or even if you buy your spell, spend time with the wonderful peace and loving almighty creator, man, our God, man, to make sure that you are having a very peaceful, wonderful Thanksgiving. I love each and every single one of you guys. Thank you, Cynthia Davis. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family as well, man. Happy Thanksgiving to each and every single one of you, Isidral as well. Happy Thanksgiving, man, cuz as well, man. Love each and every single one of y'all. From my house, from the Johnson house to y'all house, happy Thanksgiving, and we are out of here. I'll see you guys on Friday at noon Eastern and 11 a.m. right back here on the Leverage Show. It won't be a Thursday because it's gobble day. And you guys need to go spend time with your family members and friends. I love you guys, man. Take care. God bless. Until Friday, I'm out of here. Take care.